Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordi, if you don't know me, and I just tried to do a tutorial in one take. I talked the whole way through, so this was going to be a chatty one. I don't even know what I was talking about. I was just talking. I tried to do a really quick makeup look. You'll see why when I get to chatting. It took a little bit longer than I thought it would because I can never find anything, and also I was chatting. But we did good. I look cute. It's the last night, Luke and I, we're gonna go out in the rain and do something. We had no plans on what we were actually doing. We didn't even know where we were going, but I decided I wanted to put makeup on. So I, I put some makeup on and it looked really cute. Which is a really basic face you're about to see. Actually, you already have seen, so it'll be in the intro. But I was like, that was really quick. And Luke was like, yeah, that took like 15 minutes. And here I thought, I've always thought that I didn't have like an in-between face. It was either like full glam, took an hour on my makeup or nothing, no in-between. But apparently I can have an in-between. I'm just quickly slapping on my skincare. I've been really, really dry. So I need lots of moisture. Oh, actually I wanted to time myself. It is 10.39, so it was probably 10.37 when I started. Anyways, oh, I'm using the new ColourPop foundation. I really like it. Oh my God, I forgot to put on primer. See, this is what happens when I rush. What do I do? Should I just say fuck primer and... <sighs> yeah. Moisturizer is nice under makeup. I don't need it. I do need it. I don't remember what I was gonna say. I was so thrown off by not using primer. This is Fair 35. I really like the formula. It's nice and matte. It wore really good. It's full coverage. Best of all, it's cheap. I'm also love, 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 loving the translucent powder. It's amazing. I'm not sure if there's flashback yet though. I need to do a little flash test with it. It's super weird though. The translucent powder with the ColourPop concealer, I don't like it. For some reason with the ColourPop concealer, the translucent powder seems to be a lot darker. Like it sticks to the concealer and it looks really yellow. When I use it with the Barisom concealer that I'm using right now, my favorite concealer of all time, it looks really nice and brightening. I actually like the ColourPop concealer better as foundation. I'm not actually crazy about it as a concealer. It's not the worst, it's really good for the price, but it's nicer as foundation. They could literally just put their concealer in a foundation bottle and it would be amazing. It's definitely not what they did with the foundation. It's a very different formula. I think this color actually isn't as light as I thought it was. I'm gonna go in and brighten the center of my face and my under eye a little bit with the other side of the concealer so I look glowy and healthy because I'm actually not feeling super good today. My tummy is kind of upset I think because it's about to be that time. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. It destroys my entire body. Like day one, the day is canceled before it even starts. And I know I'm not the only one. Raise your hand if it's relatable or comment because if you raise your hand, I won't see. Pretty sure I do my makeup faster when I'm not talking to a camera. So this might not be an accurate representation of how fast I did my makeup last night. I'm gonna set all this with the translucent powder, the new stuff from ColourPop, which I'm gonna finish so quick. This is so tiny, but definitely will repurchase because I really like it. I really like the finish. I really like the color. I like that it doesn't take away the coverage of my makeup. I don't know how or why some powders do that when you put it over your makeup and all of a sudden your makeup is see-through. I'm actually not setting it all because I forgot to contour. I'm using the Anastasia Contour Stick in Fawn on my jawline, on my cheeks. Didn't really need to do my forehead because I am going to put on my Cora wig from Annabelle's Wigs, and it has bangs. And I've been seriously considering getting bangs. My 
best friend Emily is my stylist and I made her promise to never give me bangs even if I wanted them because every time I do it I regret it I don't have enough hair for like a good thick pair of bangs I have crazy cowlicks in the front of my head so when I have bangs I have to style them right out of the shower or it's over if I don't shower I have to wet them and style them and uh, I'm lazy I don't do my hair I guess that's why I don't know why I'm using a beauty blender. This is much more effective. This is why I love wigs so much. Because instead of styling my hair, which is time consuming, and I find it incredibly annoying to do, I can just put a hairstyle right on my head. How convenient. It's healthy and shiny and lovely and Emily takes really good care of it, but it is thin. Like my ponytail, my whole ponytail, it's like a, a sp spaghetti noodle. No, not quite, more like penne. I don't think there's a noodle that would be a good ponytail. So every time I get bangs, I'm full of regret. Like three days later. I love them for about 72 hours. And then it's over. And I say to Emily, don't ever let me get bangs again. Every single time. But that goddamn wig has made me want bangs so bad. Ew, my eyelids are creasy. Sometimes when I'm not wearing my makeup, my makeup, when I'm not wearing makeup in general, my eyelids get so greasy. Is that a thing? Maybe they're just sweaty. Maybe I just have sweaty eyelids. I already forget what time I said it was when I started. You guys ready to see something really cool? I'm not gonna fill in my eyebrows. I'm only gonna use the Kush Fiber Gel in the shade Haze. This is really upsetting. I got all four of the new fiber gels from Milk Makeup and I've already lost two. I've had them for like four days and two are already missing. It's really, really sad. The only one I have left is the, I think this is the lightest shade. They're all amazing. And I don't even have to use any kind of pencil or pomade. I can just use the fiber gel to actually fill in and make my eyebrows look amazing. I don't think this would work if you don't have a full eyebrow, but I mean, even then, if you fill in your eyebrow and then use this after, it makes your eyebrows look so beefy and it's so quick. Look at it. Look at this eyebrow and look at this eyebrow. This one is way better. I used something one time and then it vanishes. Sometimes I feel like the world is playing a trick on me. It thinks it's really funny to make everything I touch just disappear. And I can't even blame it on my workstation being messy because I cleaned this area for like four hours a few days ago. This is decluttered, organized. Like it looks incredible. But things still disappear when I touch them. I'm gonna dust off this powder. And I'm gonna use some Reserve Your Cabana over my whole entire face for a nice healthy glow. I can't believe I forgot to use primer. I'm just a little bit off. I'm gonna throw on some highlighter. This is Ofra Rodeo Drive, which is a beautiful golden highlight but I find it to not be too gold because gold highlighters don't work very well on my fair skin. Definitely more suited to a darker skin tone. But this one is all right. I think if I was any paler though, it would probably be a bit much. You guys know I love my nose highlight. I think I put it on with my finger and then just kind of blend it out so it's not uh, like a little circle of highlighter with little definite edges tin man looking ass just a little bit over my lid i'm actually gonna pick up a little bit and just add a tiny bit of highlight under my brow and on the inner corner i have a new favorite blush i know that i always have a new favorite blush this is honey thief from milk cosmetics i smashed it which is 
really upsetting. Are you ready for this? Like, is that not the most perfect shade of blush you have ever seen? It matches my dress. It's so pretty. It's just a perfect shade of blush for me. Mm. I'm gonna put on some freckles really quick. Really quick. That was pretty quick. That's not great. If my skin is really, really dry, this product is harder to use because they just don't wanna move. When my skin is really supple and moist, I can just pat them out into my skin. But when my skin's dry, they just sit on top and dry instantly, which I guess makes sense. Must work quicker. This is definitely taking longer than last night. Y'all are distracting. And by y'all, I mean my camera. Because technically, I'm sitting here alone talking to myself, which is odd. Sometimes when I'm alone, I find myself narrating my life in the car, in my room, in the shower. <sighs> YouTube has changed me. Who am I kidding? I'm pretty sure I did that before I had YouTube. I'm a great listener. I'm not gonna do a ton, 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 ton of freckles because it does get time consuming. Time consuming. Time consuming. Usually I do lots of layers to make them look really natural, but today will be more subtle. Maybe. We'll see. Sometimes I forget to stop. I just keep going. I think I'm gonna make a new freckle video just about freckles. I think, actually, I'm going to go through and do a video on everything. All the basics. Primer, foundation, concealer, just do a separate shorter video for each thing. Cause I know it probably is a bit much to watch me do a full face of makeup every single time. See, I did not mean to do this much freckles, but I didn't stop. So I'm talking to myself and I got distracted by myself. This is gonna be a weird video, I think. I was feeling ambitious last night and even though I didn't even know where we were going and we ended up not really going anywhere, I put on lashes and it went really well. So hopefully <laughs> it's the same outcome this time. Actually, we did go somewhere. We ended up driving, just driving, out to where all of the big, fancy, rich people houses are on the lake and in the mountain. I was hoping more people would have their lights on and have their blinds open so I could snoop, but um, looking at their houses was fun too. I felt like a criminal. Is it illegal to drive around and look at people's houses? It's probably suspicious. Probably looked like we were looking around, trying to find some houses to rob. These are, what are these? These are Good Vibes Only Lashes from Bold Face Lashes. They're one of my favorite lashes for when I'm not wearing liner, because they're nice and fluffy and subtle. The band is really thin. It doesn't look super obvious when you're not wearing liner. And they're incredibly comfortable. There's a car alarm going off. This car alarm goes off every day. Not, I'm not sure why. It's probably just the kind of alarm where someone forgets they have an alarm and they try and get into their car wrong every time. Probably something I would do. Kind of like how I've lived here for a year and I still don't know which light switch is for which light. I still go to the wrong drawer to get a spoon even though I put the cutlery in the cutlery drawer of my choosing and it's been there for a year. Oh well. Lash number one went really well. 
Lash number two, I went a little bit heavy on the glue. I didn't tell you guys this. I'm sorry for keeping secrets, but I just squished out like a huge blob of glue by accident and just put it on my desk like a gross person so that I could use it for the next lash. Desk glue. It'll just dry and I'll peel it off later. That went not so bad. For the lips, I'm just gonna use a very similar color to my lips. This is Hex by Melt. And I'm really lightly gonna line my lips. Just so it kind of looks like my lips, but better. And then really lightly fill it in a little bit. I'm just using my finger to kind of spread it around. So it's nice and light, no really harsh lines. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Gloss. What is this? Mm, fuel. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on. I'm not gonna put it all over my lip. And I'm just gonna pat it all over. So my lips look a little bit more moisturized. I'm gonna go in and highlight my cupid's bow again though. Now I'm going to use my Kush mascara. Just to blend my lashes to the fakies. My bottom eyelash is glued to the top in the corner. I hate when that happens, but it's so satisfying to pull apart. I love it. It's kind of like every once in a while I like to wear a wig all day and then it feels quite uncomfortable. But then taking it off is amazing. Even better than taking lashes off. And taking lashes off is amazing. But let me just make myself uncomfortable all day for a little bit of comfort at the end of the day. Because that makes sense. It's a metaphor for my life. I'm going to throw a little bit of NYX Wonder Pencil and Light in my waterline. Because my eyes look a little bit... A little bit sleepy, so I'll just brighten them and open them a little bit, but not like white where it looks really, really white. I'm gonna shape up, shape. I'm gonna shape, Jesus Christ. I'm going to shake up my Dewy Spritz by Ciate. Mmm. I love this. I need a new one. Oh, one more thing. This little heart stamp from Milk is the best. <laughs> it just adds a little something. I really like this. And I'm done. Just kidding, now I'm done. Now that I've got my hairdo on, this is how I want my hair. If this could be my hair, this is the hair I would have. But I can't have this hair because if I cut this much bangs, I would have no other hair. We'd have to take my bangs from the back of my head. I lied, I'm not done. I just need a little bit more blush. I know some of you won't agree, but I agree with me, so that's all that matters. Now I'm done. Done done. Really done. It would have been 15 minutes if you weren't so distracting. I wish you would just leave me alone. Just kidding. Please don't. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it one of these, unless you didn't like it, then I guess one of these. But just so you know, it hurts my feelings when you dislike my video. I will see you next time.